Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Hold the Ball, hope you guys are well. Yes, a bit of an informal uh, setting here, but anyway, my thoughts on the game. So Tonga come away with a victory. Again, a friendly Rugby League World Cup match um, against France, or should I say an international fixture. Um, 48 points to 12. Uh, first and foremost in the first half, uh, Tonga looked lost, in my honest opinion. Um, obviously, a lot of us were expect, uh, are expecting Tonga to do big things, regardless of your supporting uh, them to go all the way or not. You just think a game against France, you, you think that Tonga would be able to take advantage of it. Now, in the first half, especially uh, questions about Tonga's spine came into fruition, I think, especially um, especially with the lack of connection, I suppose, um, between the fullback and obviously the halves and the, the hooker. Uh, just playing a bit slow, in my own opinion. Now, uh, as for France in the first half as well, they look, a very, they look like a very good team. Tries uh, tried to Justin Sangare as well. Um, I think complimented them very very much. Their Fifita though for Tonga was very sensational. Um, again scoring a double. But overall though you're just left there looking and uh, ruining I suppose at the chances that Tonga missed, particularly to hold the ball right ironically, but at the same time as well really do some damage. And Tonga had a lot of chances, but unfortunately just couldn't capitalize. And uh, sort of like in the end of the game anyway, uh, France getting one of their players carted off. Uh, that was, uh, I believe, that was Arthur. Uh, uh, no, sorry, that was um, Romano there in the end getting carted. But uh, ultimately, that's just the way it went. Now, in the second half, um, for Tonga, you were just hoping to come and actually be a better team in general. Because uh, obviously what you saw there was just very lacklustre. And uh, Tonga did at the end actually do so in the second half was just a very completely different game from both outfits i suppose tonga's class shining through at the end there again big carries from the likes of olokawatu fifita as mentioned before um even uh um, conrad harrell as well playing a bit of a part there as well amone too uh lolo here but i think also uh dorota gola as well had a uh, particularly good game in the second half it just seemed like tonga were able to click now, granted, um, obviously uh, a game where a lot of experiments were happening, but still, in my own opinion, a game that uh, Tonga had no reason to lose. And um, uh, like I sort of posted on Instagram, I expected Dave Fivita to be the player to watch, and he was. And I expected Conrad Harrell to score an any time try, and, and he did. But ultimately, I had Tonga winning 13+, plus, but more than that, I thought Tonga had to win by 20-plus points, you know. And uh, thankfully they did that, um, having won by, I believe, yeah, what is it? So it's 12 points to uh, 48, so that's 12, uh, that's 22, 32, 42, there you go. So um, 12, 22, 32, and then 42. So yeah, it was a good victory there, 30 plus points. But anyway, you get my drift there. Tonga had to come out one, they did. Their spine looked a lot better, way better. And um, just their general attack overall look good. Now, for Tonga going forward, obviously, it's a good mishap or, uh, you know, a bit of a bump in the road to have, so to speak. Granted, they came well in the second. As for France, um, although obviously, uh, you know, uh, probably not the best way to start your campaign as, you know, international friendly, sorry. Uh, still, I think uh, their heart in the first half sh uh, shone through. And I think in the second, if they cleaned up a few things, they could have gone their way. To be fair, the ref was a bit, uh, you know, the referee was reminding me of a typical NR ref. Could have um, probably just, um, yeah, fitted right in, I suppose, you know, with your typical NRL match there. But uh, look, nonetheless, for Tonga, um, you know, you can be very happy. And I suppose, again, building blocks, foundations for your game against Papua New Guinea. As for France, well, hey... Uh, it's, it's a game they lost, but a game you can still look back on and actually, you know, uh, use again, much like Tonga, use the foundation to build some blocks. And obviously, again, as they as they approach their first game against Gra uh, Greece, but that's just me there, you know, for now. Ultimately, you expect the Tonga to win and win well, and that's what happened at the end. Um, sure, a few things to fix up, but nonetheless, uh, twelve, you know, a forty-eight point win, a forty-eight, sorry, to twelve point win. You're not going to complain there. Um, so again, that's just the way it crumbled. Again, for France, good heart nonetheless. For Tonga, it's a good uh, good start. And um, yeah, that's just the way it went there. But again, tell me your thoughts on the game overall. Uh, give me your best and your worst players or whatever it is. But I thought for my De Defita was the best player overall. For Tonga, sensational. 
and um yeah we'll just go from there but anyway it's easy see you guys next time and uh yeah hold the ball